Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrasa. So this is one of the lectures of my lecture series on fundamentals of structural analysis. And uh, today, this lecture will be a bit different. Today, I'll be introducing you with a very amazing uh, web-based software, which is skysip.com. Okay, so if you open any browser and search skysip.com, it will lead you to this particular uh, page okay so the best part of this particular software is uh, unlike any other commercial software here you will get a free version of this software as well and for very fundamental analysis of frames beams you can actually use this particular tool for free and even if you want to get a uh, you can say licensed or you can say the uh, the paid version of this particular software uh you can actually uh, pay a very less amount compared to other commercial softwares and you can use this uh, tool for your uh, structural analysis of any kind of structure like commercial buildings residential buildings uh i can say industrial structures anything you can actually do it in skysif okay so let's get started okay so once you open skysif and sign up for this and then what you have to do you have to just log in okay so once you logged into this you can see there are many uh, tools so once you log in in it what it will do it will uh, you can say take you to this particular page which is your dashboard so basically if you uh, go to your profile here after logging in okay here you will find this my dashboard and it will lead you to this particular page so here you can see i am using the free version of this particular software and today what we will do uh, we have done few analysis in in our previous lectures so if you see this is our uh, fifth lecture where we have done analysis of a very simple beam with uh, pin support at one end and uh, roller support in, at the other end okay and then we have also done this determinant beam uh, which is a cantilever beam with some uh, w load at a, a distance from point a correct we can also do this kind of uh, beams with hinges but as i am using free version of this particular tool i won't be able to assign the hinge so uh, unfortunately i won't be able to show you how it works so for today's example what we will do we will solve these two cases okay so first of all this is a beam with a pin support and a roller support at one end and with a load p now let us let us uh, uh, consider one load here okay and let us try to solve it with some value okay so let us consider that this p is equal to suppose 20 kilonewton okay if the p is equal to 20 kilonewton then if we find the unknowns here so what are the unknowns you can say a y b y right a x is already equal to zero so the unknown is a y and b y so if you see here the ay that we are getting is equal to actually pb uh, by a plus b so we also have to define uh, this particular thing so suppose a equal to 2 meter and b equal to 3 meter right so the total length of the beam is 5 meter correct total length of the beam is 5 meter so if we solve it here so what we can write that ay equal to you can see pb by a plus b so p into b p is 20 kilonewton into b means 3 meter okay by a plus b that means 5 correct so how much we are getting reaction a y these are very very basic calculation right so uh, 60 so 12 we will be getting right 12 kilonewton is my ay and then if we find out by okay if you find out by then how much it will be then how much it will be so by will be pa by a plus b so pa is equal to 20 40 by okay basically 20 into 2 by 5 okay so it will be 8 kilonewton correct very simple calculation so now you can do this kind of examples in skysy very easily okay very easily you can do so what i will do let us let us solve this one also this one also this uh you can say uh, uh 
cantilever beam so let us take the same value of w is equal to 20 kilonewton a equal to 2 meter and b equal to 3 meter correct so in this case in this case there are three unknowns uh basically a y sorry two unknowns a y and m a and a x is equal already equal to zero so if we if we say that a y equal to here we can see that a y equal to then basically 20 kilometer right and what is the value of m a m a is equal to minus minus uh 20 into a so that means 40 kilonewton meter this is our result right and as it is minus that means the moment will be like this as per this uh as per this you can say sign convention correct moment will be like this so this is my 40 kilonewton meter uh resisting moment that we are getting at the end end moment right so let us solve these two problems first let us get into this particular problem so what i will do i will open my sky sieve and here you will find this uh in the analysis software you will find this option called beam so for any kind of beam analysis you will be using it so just open it it will load and now you can create a beam actually so you click on this beam and give a length so our total length is 5 meter i'll give 5 you can see you can change the unit system also here we are using metric unit so okay, beam of 5 meter length add you can see one beam is added now uh, you go back and assign the support so first click on support the first support that we have is the pin support right so we'll assign it here uh, at left end of the uh, beam right so if you click on l you can see it is saying that zero so you are basically going from left to right you can see zero to five meter correct so at zero meter it is pin support i'll click on add and at five meter it is basically a roller support okay i'll select this roll support and click on add so we got our beam now if i go back if i go to the point loads so we have a point load which is downward you can see here we have different type of uh, loads so we have a downward load right and what is the load value it is 20 kN and it is situated at 2 meter from the point a right so 2 meter from my point 0 right so i'll give 2 meter position from left and my magnitude is 20 kN okay dead load type load case type as of now we have only one load case so you can go with uh, dead load right click on add you can see we have got a 20 kilonewton load at 2 meter distance from this particular support right so we are done with the problem statement correct we are done with the problem statement now now we just have to do just have to click on this uh, solve right so you click on solve it will run the analysis and it is completely online right so now if you see here there are bending moment and shear force diagram also it is giving actually deflection diagram also that uh, we will see later when we will be discussing these things in our uh, program okay in our uh, lecture series so as of now we are only concerned about the ay and by so we have calculated uh, the ay and by as 12 kN and 8 kN right and the similar value that you are getting 12 and 8 kilonewton for the load which is subjected to i mean the load which is uh, 20 kilonewton right so this is how you can do this kind of very simple calculations very easily in sky sieve actually and you can do it actually for free because uh, this this particular thing is coming uh, with the free version of the software right so obviously there are some uh, limitations in the free version but for the basic analysis it is it is much better actually for simple calculation you can do it very fast in this particular uh, program so i hope it is clear then then let us create another one i'll go to uh, you can say new view uh, sorry the new file i will not save it so i'll just click on yes it will open a new file for me now let us create a cantilever beam like we have done here in our uh, i think sixth lecture right so here we have a cantilever beam i'll click on the same beam of 5 meter length add right uh, if i go back and go to my supports i will assign a 
fix support at the left end that means this zero end and i click on add right now i'll go back i'll go to point loads and at two meter distance again from the zero i will assign a load of 20 kN. and this is downward point load right i click on add so now this is the condition a cantilever beam with similar load and similar distance from the uh, from this particular fix correct and uh, what we are expecting we are expecting that there will be a reaction here okay sorry there will be a reaction here which will be 20 kilonewton okay and there will be moment this direction which will be basically 40 kilonewton meter okay so this is what we are expecting from the uh, you can say results so let us let us do the solution let us click on solve and here you can see so we are getting a reaction 20 kilonewton and also a 40 kilonewton meter moment so it is like this only right this is what we are expecting correct so you can see how uh, you can see easily you can do this kind of simple analysis in sky sieve. so if you just go to again i will go back to my dashboard and if you click on this beam again you will see there are many uh, i think it is opening directly let me just close this if i close this also i think there are uh, some examples also so i'll go to open and here you can see there are sky sieve beam samples if you double click you can see there are sample uh, beam analysis you can say models are being created and if you go to this public user files uh, you can see these kind of many many uh, this kind of uh, you can say problems which are already being created in the sky sieve okay so you can these also for your understanding of the analysis of right so uh, there's a huge library for for these kind of things so uh, obviously now there are some limitations in the free version because you may not be able to assign hinges or many other things are there right but even if you want to go for the you can say uh, paid version of this it's not that costly compared to other commercial software okay every every software has their own uh, you can say capability or own uh, you can say specialization but uh, now we need to understand which one is more required to us okay based on our requirement we can opt for it so why i'm showing it because uh, for learning purpose we can use it as it is available for free of cost and lifetime actually right so uh, for basic analysis you can use this program right so anywhere you are doing some manual calculation you want to cross check that manual calculation simple manual uh, analysis of beam you can do it here other than this there are many other uh, options maybe foundation design section builder rc design okay member design and you can see uh, if you if you see this uh, gable roof which are already modeled actually rc slab okay 2d frame so all these kind of things you can do in sky Seed. hopefully uh, in our future classes we will try to explore more in this in this particular program okay so uh, this is it for today's lecture i hope you have enjoyed or you have understood how we can use sky Seed for our daily uh, learning right and uh, uh, from our next lecture what we will do we will try to continue our theoretical uh, explanations regarding the fundamentals of structural analysis thank you and see you in the next lecture